Hi, and welcome to the new section of the course, Extracting Lines, Contours and Components. In the previous section, we learned how it is possible to detect the edge of an image. In particular, we showed you that by applying a threshold to the gradient magnitude, a binary map of the main edges of an image can be obtained. In this section, we will be detecting image contours with the Canny operator. Then we'll be detecting lines in images with the Hoff transform. After that, we will fit a line to a set of points, extract connected components and finally we will compute component shape descriptors. So let's begin with the first video that deals with detecting image contours with the Canny operator. In this video, we will perform content-based analysis of an image. It is necessary to extract meaningful features from the collection of pixels that constitute the image. Contours, lines, blobs and so on are fundamental image primitives that can be used to describe the elements contained in an image. Edges carry important visual information since they delineate the image elements. For this reason, they can be used, for example, in object recognition. However, simple binary edge maps suffer from two main drawbacks. First, the edges that are detected are unnecessarily thick. This makes the object's limits more difficult to identify. Second, and more importantly, it is often impossible to find a threshold that is sufficiently low in order to detect all important edges of an image and is, at the same time, sufficiently high in order to not include too many insignificant edges. This is a trade-off problem that the Canny algorithm tries to solve. The Canny algorithm is implemented in OpenCV by the CV Canny function. As will be explained, this algorithm requires the specification of two thresholds. The call to the function is highlighted here. We have specified the grey level image, the output contours, the low threshold value and the high threshold value. Now we will run the program in our console application. When the algorithm is applied on the left image, the result is as shown in the canny contours image. Here we have inverted the contour representation since the normal result represents contours by non-zero pixels. The display image is simply 255 contours. The Canny operator is generally based on the Sobel operator, although other gradient operators can also be used. The key idea here is to use two different thresholds in order to determine which point should belong to a contour, a low and a high threshold. The low threshold should be chosen in a way that includes all edge pixels that are considered to belong to a significant image contour. For example, using the low threshold value and applying it on the result of a Sobel operator, this edge map is obtained. As you can see, the edges that delineate the road are very well defined. However, because a permissive threshold was used, more edges than what is ideally needed are also detected. The role of the second threshold then is to define the edges that belong to all important contours. It should exclude all edges considered as outliers. For example, the Sobel image map that corresponds to the high threshold used in our example looks like the Sobel high threshold image. We now have an image that contains broken edges but the ones that are visible certainly belong to the significant contours of the scene. The Canny algorithm combines these two edge maps in order to produce an optimal map of contours. It operates by keeping only the edge points of the low threshold edge map for which a continuous path of edges exists, linking those edge points to an edge that belongs to the high threshold edge map. This strategy, based on the use of two thresholds to obtain a binary map, is called hysteresis thresholding and can be used in any context where a binary map needs to be obtained from a thresholding operation. However, this is done at the cost of higher computational complexity. In addition, the Canny algorithm uses an extra strategy to improve the quality of the edge map. Prior to the application of the hysteresis thresholding, all edge points for which the gradient magnitude is not a maximum in the gradient direction are removed. Therefore, the local maximum of the gradient in this direction corresponds to the point of maximum strength of the contour. This is a contour thinning operation that creates edges having a width of one pixel. This explains why thin edges are obtained in the canny contour maps. 